Tuesday in the first of three congressional appearances this week that could contain explosive testimony about how Trump allegedly broke the law while in office, according to U.S. media reports. Cohen, who once said he would take a bullet for Trump but has since turned against his former boss, appeared before the Senate panel in a closed session. Over the course of the hearings, NBC News said Cohen plans to provide evidence of alleged criminal conduct by Trump since he became president, while the New York Times reported Cohen will use documents and his personal experiences to support his statements. Cohen will appear in another closed session before the House Intelligence Committee on Thursday. But all eyes will be on what the former Trump aide reveals on Wednesday when he is to testify before the House Oversight and Reform Committee in a public hearing. Tensions rose ahead of the long-awaited session when the Florida lawmaker Matt Getz on Tuesday appeared to threaten Cohen on Twitter. Cohen's lawyer, Lanny Davis, said his team would not respond to Getz's allegations except to say we trust that his colleagues in the House, both Republicans and Democrats, will repudiate his words and his conduct. Cohen will be testifying under penalty of perjury, but will probably be met with skepticism from Republicans who will seek to draw attention to a track record of dishonesty. The White House sought to discredit Cohen on Tuesday before the hearings began. The White House spokeswoman, Sarah Sanders, issued a statement saying he was going to prison for lying to Congress and making other false statements.